hello dear students i hope all of you will be fine welcome to another video of the series of modern poetry in the last video we discussed about the poem the thought fox by ted hughes and now in this video we are discussing his another poem the jaguar first of all we will discuss its introduction Ted Hughes was a modern English poet and children's writer. Since his childhood, he was a keen lover of animals and birds. A number of his works are named after animals, like The Thought Fox, his earliest poem, and The Rain Horse, his earliest story. The poem we are going to discuss is also named after an animal, Jaguar. In this poem the poet who has visited a zoo describes the worst condition of animals in it co by comparing them with lifeless things by doing so he tries to expose the brutality of men over other living creatures and finally talks about the enthusiastic jaguar to depict that hope always prevails even among the animals now we look at the text of the poem stanza 1 the apes yawn and adore their fleas in the sun the parrots shriek as they were on fire or strut like cheap rats to attract the stroller with the nut fatigued with indolence tiger and lion he is discussing discussing about different birds and animals in the zoo according to him in the first stanza the and in the first stanza of jaguar the speaker outlines a few animals in a zoo it is not it is not until the third line that it is made clear that it this that this is the case but it is quite apparent at that point the speaker takes note of the parrots and how they shriek seeking out the stroller with the nut visitors to the zoo are bringing the creatures bits and pieces to eat and they know well when they are going to eat This is one of the first example of the changed behavior of animals in this environment. In the wild, the parrots would have would not have any desire to attack a human's attention. There is also an interesting simile in these lines when the poet compares the shrieking parrots to cheap rats or prostitutes who are trying to attract customers. As one would expect huge also emphasizes the lack of exercise or even simple activity that very active creatures the tigers and lions are experiencing in the zoo they are so inactive so lazy that they are fatigued by it this is something of hyperbole exaggeration but it also speaks to how captivity changes the creatures it is imposed upon so dear students we have seen here that uh, the use of simile is there the poet actually is comparing different animals and birds with the with such characteristics that are not supposed for them for example parrots are being uh, compared with the prostitutes and lion and tigers are being uh, called that they are so inactive and lazy there is so much exaggeration there okay because normally uh, lions and uh, tigers they are not lazy he is saying he is declaring them too lazy too much lazy okay so it it is suggestive of the fact that they are not 
given their actual characteristics all of them are being presented as the passive ones not the active animals stanza 2 lie still as the sun the boa constrictors coil is a fossil cage after cage seems empty or stinks of sleepers stinks of sleepers from the breathing straw it might be painted on a nursery wall the last line of the first stanza this is the analysis of stanza 2 according to the uh, while running from the stanza 1 the last the last line of the first stanza is enjambed in last video i told you about enjambment or run on line device when the one when one idea moves forward runs from one stanza to the other stanza this means that the second half of the phrase appears in the first line of the second stanza which is starting from the first stanza the speaker adds that these large cats spend their days lying still as the sun still as the sun for example when you look towards the sun it is still just like that large cats means tigers and animals they are still they are sitting still lying still and likely in the sun as well the world of animals in the zoo is so unanimal like that it, is, it seems more like a painting on a nursery wall than it does a real collection of living creatures that in like uh, in a nursery the paintings are there on the wall if animals and birds are there they can't move like that in the zoo animals and birds are just static motionless the other lines in this stanza drive that point home as the boa constrict constrictors coil is compared to a fossil and the cages seem empty even if they are not plus in the third line which describes them as a sucking of sleepers they are just uh like the sleeping sleeping portions in the train those cages those cages are being compared with those parts in the train that are called sleeper in which the passengers sleep it's the smell of these animals more than their appearance or their actions that strikes visitors that the movement and appearance is not like the animals in the zoo they are just static they are motionless the visitors just can uh, smell okay they can only feel the smell that these are animals okay except that smell they can't get the idea whether these animals the rear animals are just they are like the paintings and pictures strands of three and four are being narrated together because of the similarity of ideas but who runs like the rest past these arrives at a cage where the crowd stands stares mesmerized as a child at a dream at a jaguar hurrying enraged through prison darkness after the drills of his eyes on a short fierce fuse not in boredom the eye satisfied to be blind in fire by the bang of blood in the brain deaf in the ear he spins from the bars but there's no cage to him the speaker changes the poem in the next line. Before that, he was declaring all the animals passive and static. Now he introduces something else. He changes the atmosphere, focusing on a young visitor to the zoo. This child runs, as everyone does, to a very specific cage. He already knows 
what he is doing to see there a jaguar this large cat is different from the other animals in the zoo the fire in his heart has not been put out the cat still has its wild instincts and desires this might be to do, this might be to do with the period the creatures have been there or perhaps to do with something deeper in this particular animal this animal is different is seen is uh, appearing as different than the other animals that animal jaguar is full of desires feelings energy vigor right quite contrary quite opposite to the, all the other animals of the zoo so there is a transition in the environment in the poem stanza 5 more than to the visionary his cell his stride his stride is wilderness wildernesses of freedom the world rolls the world rolls under the long thrust of his heel over the cage floor the horizons come in the final four lines of the jaguar the speaker concludes by alluding vaguely to the jaguar's boundless energy life and potential he describes the creature powerfully with a stride that still contains the wilderness he belongs to in the last line the phrase the horizons come suggest that these animals have yet to give up on the future it has determination and power in a way that the other animals no longer do or never did depending on how one reads this poem it is easy to envision the same dynamic play playing out among a group of people or various groups symbolized by the jaguar we come to know that during the whole environment of the zoo we come across different things that are away from the wild life that is not you can say uh, declared as the life of animals but when we see the powerful and uh, the energetic jaguar we come to know about the real wild life now we see the themes in the poem in the jaguar huge explores several interesting themes freedom resistance and captivity all three of these are linked together in the form of the jaguar and his strength in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds the poet draws the reader's attention to the jaguar allowing them to marvel over the animal just as the specter spectators in the zoo do but what the poet adds to the experience is something of the jaguar's own emotions he is able to convey the creature's feelings as it talks across the cage as well as its potential he continues to push back at least emotionally against its captivity the jaguar has ha not had his spirit broken according to the poet this animal jaguar is the representative of such people who feel very much brave and confident about themselves they don't behave like the covert people of society they want freedom they do resistance and they focus on the captivity 
so dear students i hope you have got the idea you have to revise all this and prepare this poem and uh, prepare its critical appreciation according to the whole analysis that i have done in this video lecture understood so take care and see you in the next lecture regarding that huge next poem understood thank you very much and good luck to you for your exams